hello guys welcome to the channel in this video I will teach you how to calculate net present value using NPV formula and how to calculate it without NPV formula because this formula will only tell you the end result but if you are interested in yearly breakdown then I will also teach you how to calculate present value of future cash flows on yearly basis so you will get net present value in the end so let's start as you can see we have this data which we will use now we have outflow of 150,000 and from this project we will generate a constant 50,000 inflow on yearly basis so now we will use NPV formula to check if this project is good for us so let me show you how to calculate it so we will write our formula here so our formula is, is equals to NPV which is net present value and then tab and now as you can see this is asking for rate so we have discount rate of 10% so we will select this then as per formula we will use comma now we have to select cash flows these cash flows can be positive or negative but these cash flows should start from year one so we will select from here till here so bracket over now we will use plus sign to add the impact of our cash outflow now you might be thinking why we are adding this cash outflow as you can see this 150,000 is already a negative amount if I will minus this so minus into minus will have a positive impact so this amount will turn into a positive amount so that's why we are using plus sign if we had this 150 in positive then we are okay to use minus sign here but now we will use plus sign so I'll press enter as you can see this is a positive NPV of 93,420 so this project is looking too good for investment as you can see we have already set up everything in this formula so now if you want to change anything you can play around let's say now we have come to know that our initial investment will not be 150,000 it will be 230,000 so I will change it again minus sign then enter you can see the changes here as we have learned how to use NPV formula in Excel we have also learned this we are not getting present value for each year let's say I want to see what will be the present value of this 50,000 in year 2 but I cannot do this in order to do that we will learn how to calculate net present value without using NPV formula first we need to get discount factor for each year so discount factor in year 0 will be 1 so we will write 1 here and then from here we will use a basic formula to do it which is is equals to a small bracket 1 plus the discount rate as we will drag this formula down we need to lock it by pressing F4 as you can see this dollar sign now or simply you can type your rate here let me show you how 10 10 percent then break it over then we'll use this carrot or power sign now we will select our year so this will have power 1 then enter as you can see our discount factor here so we will drag this all the way down then from here fill without formatting you can see our discount factor we will change formatting for this and then here we will calculate present value so the basic thing is equals to the cash flow and we will divide this by our discount factor enter so now we will drag this down and then fill without formatting and you can see this net present value here which is exactly the same as we calculated by an NPV formula I can show you by this and here you can clearly see the present value of future cash flows on yearly basis you can also change your data if you want to 
let's say I will make it 35,000 and you can see the changes here and also here both are same I hope you have learned how to calculate net present value using NPV formula and how to do it without NPV formula if you want to learn other financial formulas like IRR, MIRR, PMT or even you want to learn other Microsoft Excel formulas you can check out our playlist if you like this video please hit like comment down if you have any questions share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe